Hi everybody, my name is Trisha Mittal and today I will be presenting our work Video Manipulations Beyond Faces, a dataset with human and machine analysis. This is a joint work between Adobe Research and University of Maryland College Park. I'll first begin by motivating a problem statement. The proliferation of accessible video editing software and artificial intelligence tools has led to an increase in manipulated video content. While digital manipulation is commonplace in the creative process, in some cases video manipulation has a malicious intent. Social media often amplifies such false information to the circulation of manipulated videos. Such manipulated content has been a concern and has also led to a significant increase in cases of misinformation, fraud, and cyber crimes in the last decade. Such video manipulations can alter political narratives, weaken the public's trust in a country's leadership, and increase hatred among various social groups. For instance, here in the example on the left, the manipulated photo was altered by digitally placing the armed man in front of a peaceful protest insinuating violence. Similarly, in the example in the middle, there is a video that was circulating in various social media websites during the US presidential elections. The video clip was altered by changing the location and the signs on the podium to a different US state to mock the presidential candidate's campaign. On the right is an example of a digital alteration to implicate the launch of four missiles when the truth was only three were launched. There are many more such instances of false information that can be edited easily by the common man and has also been consumed by the common man. A lot of focus in the recent past on the video manipulation front has been focused on manipulations on the faces. This is because of the result of various deepfake methods and detection methods. But facial manipulations represent only a fraction of all the manipulated content circulated on social media. For example, modifications also include changing the background context, text and audio in media, aesthetic edits, adding removing entities and temporal manipulations. These manipulations can be performed in a matter of clicks due to availability of state-of-the-art video editing tools like Adobe After Effects, Lightroom, Filmora, GIMP, and many more. So in this work, we present VideoSham, a video manipulation dataset which contains 826 videos generated using six attack methods, both spatial and temporal. These videos have diverse scene backgrounds, have rich context, and can contain up to 9 subjects on average per video. We also present a user study conducted on Amazon Mechanical Turk to understand if humans find these attacks methods hard to detect. We analyze the performance of state-of-the-art deepfake detection methods and video forensic techniques for such manipulation detection. I now present a very brief summary of video manipulation attacks and datasets. Manipulation techniques or attacks are broadly categorized as spatial, temporal, and geometric in the literature. Basic examples of spatial attacks include copy move and image video splicing, which correspond to spatially or temporally shifting an object to a different location in the same video or a different video respectively. Retouching, another common attack, involves aesthetic edits like adjusting brightness, contrast and other parameters of digital content. Temporal attacks involve swapping, duplicating, inserting and deleting frames of a video, giving the impression that the video has been sped up or slowed down. Finally, geometric attacks include operations like cropping and rotations. More recently, however, people have used AI to alter facial features to create deep fake videos. 
AI based techniques comprise of two major attack approaches face swapping and face reenactment. Face swapping switches the subject's face with the face of another person, and face reenactment alters the subject's facial expressions based on another face. This is a brief summary of all the image and video manipulation datasets in the recent few years. Once highlighted here, manipulation datasets. These are quite large in size, often tens of thousands of images because they're easier to collect and edit. However, most of these datasets are primarily manipulated by two attack methods, copy move and retouching or aesthetic edits. The datasets highlighted here that have come up in the very recent few years. These are mostly synthesized using AI methods. These attacks primarily include face swapping, face reenactment, and audio-driven face reenactment. However, these are face-centered, single-person videos with no context at all. Finally, the datasets highlighted here are manipulated video datasets. However, they are very small in size. The maximum dataset listed here contains up to 200 videos. However, each dataset is made by a very focused adapt and often contains less than one human with no audio and context. Creating benchmarks of video manipulation is a challenging task as this may require poor frame manipulations. We now present our dataset, VideoShank. VideoShank consists of 826 videos, 413 real videos, and 413 manipulated videos. The videos have been manipulated using one of six manipulation attacks, which are either spatial or temporal in nature. We obtain our source videos from an online video website, Vimeo, and use only videos attributed with a CC BY license. The videos were edited by professional video editors hired on Upwork and were well versed with Adobe After Effects, the tool used for editing and creating video shank. We now introduce the six manipulation attacks used along with an example each. The first attack is adding an entity or subject. On the left, we show the real video and on the right, we show the manipulated video. In this example, we have added a white cup on the table. This is the exact opposite attack method where we now remove an entity or a subject from the video. In this example, we have removed the dancer from the center. The third attack entails altering the background or a foreground color. In this example, we have changed the color of the jersey of one of the players. In the fourth attack, we replace or add some text. For instance, here we have altered the text regarding the location and the year of the games. Attack 5 is a temporal attack where we duplicate, drop, or add additional frames. In this example, we have added duplicate frames to slow the video down. In the last temporal attack, we play with the audio component. My name is Casey Yao, and I'm the Presser Scholar for the Fred Box School of Music. Experiment now, we run a user study on Amazon Mechanical Turk to understand if humans are deceived using such attacks. We randomly select 30 real and 30 manipulated videos from our dataset. We collect 20 responses per video. This is a snapshot of the Amazon Mechanical Turk study. We summarize our findings here. 
I will highlight the main points here, but for the significant analysis of the study and more in-depth analysis, we refer the readers to the paper. We see that out of 600 responses for the real videos, 76% were correctly identified as real and 24% were identified as manipulated. Similarly, out of 600 responses for the manipulated videos, only 37% were correctly identified as manipulated and 63% of the videos were identified as real. On analyzing responses on a per attack video, we observe that human participants are able to best identify videos attacked by attack 5 with a 75% accuracy. All other attacks are more likely to mislead humans by around 50%. Human participants are more successful in being able to identify manipulated videos that are modified using attack 5 and attack 6 than spatial attacks which are attacks 1 to 4. In this next experiment, we try and understand how well are the state-of-the-art methods to detect such manipulation. To answer this question, we shall shortlist three deepfake detection methods and two video forensic methods. We evaluate the success rate of these methods on video shell. In short, we observe that these methods are less than 50% effective. We provide a more detailed analysis in the paper. Finally, we perform some interesting experiments where we show how problem statements that go beyond standard vision tasks can be used for detection. The first idea is to locate absent targets and or out of contact subjects in the video by tracking gaze of all the subjects in the video. And the idea is to use these inferences to flag a video as manipulated. The second idea is to locate disparities in affective states of different subjects and hence flag the videos for a potential manipulation. For instance, the addition of the dancer of the affective state joy stood out from the affective state of the other players. These are some more quantitative analysis of these methods which are explained in the paper which show that there is potential to use such ideas for detecting more such manipulations. To conclude, in this work we presented a video manipulation dataset video sham which we show is able to deceive humans. We also observe that current algorithms are not really able to handle such diversity of video manipulations. It is important to increase the scope of detection ideas being used currently for detecting manipulations. Current methods are also extremely focused on visual perception. Our goal through the experiment 3 was to show that through very preliminary analysis, ideas based on inter-agent dynamics and multimodal cues can be a promising literature source. Another promising idea is to include domain knowledge in detecting manipulations. As humans, we have some context information which the detection models severely suffer from. For more details, we refer the readers to our project page as listed here. The dataset is also publicly available on the GitHub repository of Adobe Research. You can also scan the QR code to get to the dataset page. Thank you for listening.